Right, um, I have to make this video because A, it will save time, uh, B, um, I was watching this video and yeah, usually I haven't really got too much to say about stuff or nothing constructive to say about stuff, but I have to say that with this video, and also I do feel like I, it is important to in some way keep a record of the orig original like WAVs um, because yeah in case the file changes or gets taken down or the audio in some way shape or form gets degraded or you know, any number of the things that can actually go wrong with a video file or can happen to a video file so um, in order to preserve the point of what I'm going to say <laughs> to make sure that as kind of evidence doesn't disappear or degradate over time I would also like to include some of the video in my video uh, which is to do with Greg or exploring the rabbit holes video who is a brilliant channel by the way um and as is quantum of consciousness as well and um, they know each other um <clears throat> and neither of them know me but anyway uh yeah so um one of the first one of the first key things i yeah i'm sorry if this video isn't very good but okay while i am a youtuber i deal strictly in audio you know which is also why you are not going to see my face and why why currently you have a still screenshot of a very wibbly camera <laughs> <laughs> looking at my television so anyway right before we go into this one of the okay right let's talk about um resonance and frequency and um what it could do to existing fault lines or what it can actually you know the properties of what um different pitches or frequencies combined with decibels combined with you know what you know there are several different factors which i suppose would affect the uh which would affect the uh properties of the sound well anyway right as any opera singer with a wine glass can illustrate if you hit everything in the world right or every building or rather material um has a particular pitch or frequency it resonates to so um if basically if you hit the frequency which the material in question resonates to then basically what happens is that thing shatters i think it's it i don't know if you call it its vibrational pitch or you know um well anyway the intro the the entire Earth has got a frequency, you know, it's called the uh, Schumann Resonance and it's basically the pitch which the entire planet resonates to, which coincidentally has been um, having some spikes recently, just, you know, sidetracked. Right, but before I get sidetracked, okay, so the one key thing I noticed, as soon as, you know, it got to a certain point in this video, um, is... I didn't hear the audio much in the news because usually you've got a new ca newscaster like yakking over the top of it or whatever or someone going oh my god and stuff like that but this was a really 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 um good uh, audio video I mean 
of hearing actual audio from the events itself, from the event itself, rather than somebody like myself yakking over the top of it. But, right, so the first key thing I noticed is how incredibly noisy it is. Right, which, okay, given the amount of emergency vehicles, etc., which are on the scene, or, well, initially only one was on the scene, but I assume the rest were on the way to the scene, um, and therefore, you know, you heard, and um, plus with all the cars beeping, and obviously, um, you know, the acoustic uh uh, exaggeration or amplification from the surrounding buildings etc obviously you know there was a lot of noise um, but the one thing I did notice and the only thing I've got a big question mark over right okay I don't know much about the American uh, I don't know much about American uh, emergency vehicles or even vehicles in general but um, I do hear, you know, many of the same type of siren, you know, or the same different types of siren, which are all familiar to me. And then at, uh, how, where, where was it? Right, okay, so it would be about, um, da, 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 da. It would be about, uh, okay, well, well, hang on, right, okay, so we're, it begin, the audio begins at 9.24, so this, this video is also so that I can, you know, give a good time record as I sort of skip through this video. By the way, if you catch any glimpses of my house, you know, just close your eyes because uh, it is me after all. Um, right, okay, so. Here we go, right, so, really, really noisy. Now, remember, when a building has just been hit, right, um, obviously, there's already a fault line for any acoustic resonances to be able to work down. I can't believe this video is almost 10 minutes already, and I haven't even gone into it. <sighs> right, so... Ah, oh, now the video won't play. Wait, wait, wait. Right, come on, controller. Work with me. Right, here we go. Right, so this should work now. Oh, my goodness. Why is it on fucking... Oh, 480. Is that right? Okay, hang on. Ah. Right. Okay, so... Okay, the... um. So we've got some quite low frequencies, but so far they're all sort of the same. Now, okay, right, we'll just sort of skip through a bit because I'm pretty certain that the first occurrence of it, let's give it a play here. Ah, there we go. Can you hear that? And then a boop boop, boop boop. Right, now. Now, these ones, I do not recognize. That's obviously a car, a, a heavy vehicle horn. Right, that there, that boop boop, boop boop, boop boop. Now, I don't know much about stuff, but I believe those sort of frequencies would do most glass, you know, perhaps even quartz or, you know, um, yeah, I don't know what these were made of, or whether, now that whistle there as well is kind of questionable. 
<clears throat> I mean, not in the resonance for the buildings, but I mean in the signal it could give to somebody else. If somebody was of a viewpoint who could see something in specific, some particular signal that whatever, um, whatever phase of sound blasting was over and that it was maybe time to start the next phase which for example might be a lot of high elevation lows combined with intermittent highs I believe um, low frequencies are the thing that you know would um, do damage to i.e. things like stones and you know perhaps bricks perhaps mortar I'm not I'm not sure but it's low frequencies that do the bricky stuff and it's high frequencies that would do the glassy stuff now given the glass to uh, brick ratio it seems to me and I will just skip through a little bit more because um, now something definitely just happened then and um, you know obviously we can hear police sirens which are quite high pitched but not like that sound from before like that um, right anyway we're gonna right so I think the next bit okay let's see okay so oh the lows are 11.45 to 12.55 ish Oh, so, hang on, we'll just... Oh, sugar, I'm getting mixed up with my times now. I'm looking at the time on my video and <laughs> thinking that that's how far into the YouTube video I am. So, anyway, we'll just have it play here now. So, now we've got... A lot of mids there. Okay, and they've just noticed something has just given. Oh my god! Oh my god, what's happening? So I'm thinking perhaps it's the lows and the highs which caused the initial like fracture lines working off of the big, you know, fracture or any fractures that were caused by the impact of the aircraft right so then the faults are there so then the acoustic resonances which work on the specific materials in which the building is is made of it's combined with oh my oh okay um So, we've got short, sharp blasts of the but it is it was being covered up by the car alarm. So the car alarm was going off, but as the car alarm is going off, there's short, sharp bursts of the one you know the really high pitch you know the the almost sonic sounding thing you know the one anomaly the one thing i don't recognize as being from any emergency services vehicle i know um if you could sort of tell me what that actual you know what what you think that sound is from then i would be really interested um uh, there we go there i think the lot's just come down but see sustained and sharp changes in frequency and pitch etc it's kind of easy to see um in that that would basically you know, it would turn anything into you know um and it's 
It's not that one. It was... Okay, that's all, you know, it's not that one I'm on about. I'm on about the f one that actual, actually seems to cause a bend almost in the air. Um, oh my goodness, that looks like, um, oh, that's the most horrible thing. Look at that, that's almost a face there. I never noticed that. Now, okay, Matt Skywatcher, right? Those are demonic clouds, right? <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, my goodness. So that's the the rest of the building stood there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. That was me tripping balls. Sorry. Yet again. Oh, my goodness. Right, so... I assume that's the first one just gone down, so... And you notice the marked decrease in siren sounding. Now the sirens are starting up again, but only in the mids. Right, short, sharp bursts of mids. Now they're also joined by the high. High. There we go. A uh, high, mid, high. Now all this, remember, will be causing uh, fractures or fault lines in the building that didn't get hit. I don't think it got hit. I mean, I don't watch mainstream news, so, you know, but... I mean, the only reason I'm even recording this, you know, I deal strictly in audio. I don't, like, I, you know, I don't watch the news because it's really fucking depressing. There's always bad shit going down that I can't do anything about, which is, like, really shit. Um, so, basically, I stopped watching the news a long time ago, like I'm talking, like, years. So... I don't even think I watched it back when this was going down. In fact, I was pregnant for my youngest son. Um, and he was born on September the 18th, which was the week after all this. So I was a bit fat and, you know. Okay, so now we get the noise starting back up again. Or, you know, cuts in the audio, which seemed quite convenient. We've got some really low frequency shit happening here. Very low frequency. I don't even know if you can hear that. But, you know, audio is my thing. It's what I do, so therefore I can hear sounds behind sounds. I can hear sounds between sounds. I can separate simultaneous sounds into the... Uh, you know, into the uh, individual wav in my head, you know, I mix, uh, that's what I do, you know, um, okay, so how did it even, okay, if the second building didn't get hit by anything, then why, how is it on fire? It, I wonder, I just, you know, just a casual question. <sighs> Hear these waves. But anyway, um, hopefully, Greg, uh, exploring the rabbit hole. Okay, so all the sirens all cut out and we're all quiet. Now, that was a mid. And I'm wondering if that would have been a signal, perhaps, that building number two needed extra um, convincing? I don't know. It just seems like a siren out of the blue for, from nowhere, given the fact that, you know, most of them have been quiet. Now you're getting short, sharp blasts of mids and highs. And also convenient cut in audio. <laughs> but then this is why I'm recording this as well and also so Greg can um, see which bit I'm referring to okay so here we have short sharp mids 
Oh, well, that's done the trick. Right. And then it just flies apart. But there's only one thing that can do that that isn't a bomb or really anything you can get evidence on or fingerprints for or indeed anything. But my feeling is, is that sound might have played an extremely large part in not the initial incident no okay perhaps that was terrorists but okay perhaps it was completely unintentional and they did not realize it but everybody knows that you do not shout or raise your voice or even step to you know a uh, hard in an avalanche zone and given the fact that of the, f the fracturing that had already taken pa place and you know um, I feel that it is entirely possible that all the further events could have been ex entirely stimulated uh, entirely brought, stimulated or brought about by j just the acoustics that were going on because it um to me i can s hear easily that it was being com bombarded on every frequency possible um plus you know um other things maybe that might be out of my range of hearing, out of your range of hearing, but, you know, I'm thinking of particular lows and also particular highs, you know. Obviously, I've only got a human's hearing, but, yeah, I'd say any much they could, you know, fuck... I just don't know, man. But anyway, that's my thoughts. So that's the only useful thing I've got to say. I'm... Right. And, yeah, whether or not it was intentional, I really couldn't say. But I do question that dodgy siren, you know, particularly, you know, I think it's about... 16 minutes something like that it's actually being masked by the car alarm but you can hear a short sharp blasts of that you know like woo, 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 like you know only lasting for you know uh, and I can hear that happening as the car as the car alarm is sounding and to be fair highs would have done the glass lows would have done the rest and there we go. That would be a completely logical explanation for it being literally obliterated and, you know, dustifying. Um, yeah, I feel really fucking sad. Um, you, you know, if it was intentional, it's really, really, really fucking bad. And if it was unintentional, then it's, you know, just flat out fucking sad but it does seem to be quite a specific and sustained attack on set you know on uh target frequencies which in turn would relate to target materials um and i don't know what the things were made of i don't know what the surrounding buildings were made of um but Perhaps those frequencies might have been directed or amplified in such a manner as to be directed to an elevation that only the Twin Towers could reach or, um, yeah, for whatever reason, I don't know how it is that they were damaged and the rest weren't, you know, um, I believe they weren't both hit, um, but... 
I could be wrong on that, because obviously I'm not a mainstream news person. Anyway, this should not have taken 25 minutes. And, yeah, uh, so there we go. This is from a non-conspiracy theorist, mind you. I can still consider myself a non-conspiracy theorist, although I am beginning to question a lot. But this was one thing that, you know, I don't know, it could have been theorised or, you know, it could have already been, you know, uh, what is it they call it, uh, debunked or whatever. But I feel that there, yeah, I do feel like, intentionally or not those acoustic those frequencies and stuff um dust of oh my goodness how do they know that the dust hasn't even cleared yet how can they just say oh yeah there's no more world trade centers but the dust cloud is still there you wouldn't see if it was there all i can see is fucking dust you know there's one building just coming back into view you know, um, so yeah, yeah, I do feel like, uh, it was, <sighs> definitely, it was definitely the acoustics and the frequency, intentional or not, right, the surrounding noise, and also some maybe specifically introduced noises and frequencies, obliterated that place and so anyway um yeah uh thank you uh and fuck off out of my phone <laughs> so here we have a room